renowned faculty, competitive funding opportunities, cutting-edge research, and a wide range of interests. State-of-the-art facilities, unmatched support and mentoring from a diverse and tight-knit group with a strong sense of family. And it's all in a unique community setting that offers big city amenities with a small town feel. The University of Kansas School of Engineering Graduate School combines these attributes into one program, providing students with a path to pursue their goals and dreams. What do you need to do to, to make it useful to the therapist, to make it useful to the patient? Clayton Wanika is hard at work in the neuromuscular lab at the University of Kansas Medical Center in Kansas City, Kansas. He spends his days working to improve techniques so used by stroke patients stroke and the therapists who assist uh, them as the patients learn to walk again. This device is actually going to strap around the thigh of the individual. The bioengineering PhD student got his undergraduate degree in electrical engineering from New Mexico State University and is looking to continue his research either in academia or the private sector once he earns his degree. He enjoys the interdisciplinary nature of his research efforts. You have the opportunity to work with tissues, you have the opportunity to work with chemicals, you have the opportunity to work with systems, organ systems, uh, spines, uh, knee joints, or you have the opportunity to work with people and that's what really appealed to me is the one-on-one -on -one interaction, getting to know the person and actually seeing what you're doing benefit their life. The actual ionic liquid with some DMSO in it. For chemical engineering PhD student Sylvia Nuoso, the lure of cutting-edge research and partnerships with industry and other universities at KU's Center for Environmentally Beneficial Catalysis led her to pursue her graduate degree here. Sylvia hopes to continue research in industry or academia when she earns her degree. They were doing fine work there in the areas that I'm passionate about, um, green, green engineering and also finding real solutions to um, chemical problems. And then we'll have three text fields in the table that will actually be where I, I place quantities. PhD computer science student John Gibbons conducts research on what makes a piece of content go viral on the internet. But his real passion is working in the classroom to help educate undergraduate electrical engineering and computer science students, a career he hopes to pursue after earning his degree. I really like teaching and so uh, teaching covered my tuition, it covered fees, it covered uh, it, they paid me a stipend so I could, you know, I, I didn't have, that was my job and that was great for me. John, Sylvia, and Clayton are all ambassadors for the graduate programs at the KU School of Engineering. They all took different paths to KU but found Jayhawk Nation to be a welcoming place with outstanding support, financial and otherwise. Walking into the office of one of your mentors or your advisors when you're having a day that you're like, oh God, am I going to meet? Sometimes you, you just need that encouragement for someone to tell you that it's okay. It's the people, they, they truly care, they truly care. Um, there's this thing of people actually just caring about what you're doing, how can I help you and how, how can I get you to the next place. Graduate students have access to top flight facilities and state of the art equipment on the KU campus in Lawrence, as well as off campus locales like the Medical Center in Kansas City and the Center for Environmentally Beneficial Catalysis. But what truly makes the graduate school experience at KU stand out is the faculty for their expertise and their mentoring. The faculty, uh, especially in, in my department, are top-notch. Uh, the, the reason I'm doing the research that I'm doing right now is because one of our faculty members literally wrote the book on data mining. Being the first person in my family to go to uh, a doctoral degree, um, I didn't know what kind of support I needed. So faculty, that made me feel comfortable, that made me feel like I could succeed, well, it was very important to me. So I've enjoyed it even till now. Um, I still go to faculty that have been my teachers or instructors and they still advise me. Whether it's fellowships, grants, teaching, even the ambassador program, graduate students have access to a multitude of funding opportunities that allow them to focus on their research and enjoy their time as Jayhawks in a great college town. The ability to, to have that sort of an outlet where you know, I don't have to you know, drive 40 minutes to another city, that having that here where I can you know, go see a band, go see uh, an independent film and then of course whenever like it's sports season then the city is just buzzing the entire time. So you see anywhere in Kansas where you are at and you say Rock Chuck Jayhawk. <laughs> it, it, it's a family. It's a family and it's nice being a part of a family like that. Yeah.